So we've been franchising um, across the world for the last 23, 24, 25 years. Um, there are 140 million babies born every year. So we cater for those babies from naught to eight years. In some markets we go up to 10. Um, and the reason that is, is that there are 800,000 babies born in the UK. So there's a huge population abroad of which we're trying to reach out and provide products and, and service to those parents. So mothers to be all the way up to eight years. We've been traveling over to Latin America since 2011, researching partners. Uh, we first launched in 2011 in November uh, in Panama and Colombia. And our goal is to be operative over in Brazil and Mexico, which are the third and eighth most, most addressable markets for us. Um, we operate uh, 1,200 stores across 60 countries. Um, and our biggest growing markets are Asia, uh, of which Latin America is closely following. And we'd like this to be our next tier of growth. So the barriers in Latin America are, are different from country to country. Um, compliance, uh, certification requirements, um, audits. Uh, we have some kind of barriers to entry, lots of duties, lots of taxes, which are particularly prevalent across Brazil. Hence why we're not here yet. <laughs> We would, we would hope to launch within the next couple of years in Brazil. Uh, we've spoken to a few um, companies over here to do some research. We've worked with GS and MD uh, back in 2012. Uh, we're waiting for the right time. Uh, we don't, because we're reverse season to yourselves, we need to get the market launch right at the right time with the right product and make sure we've got the right real estate strategy and pricing strategy. So we can only get to launch once, so we're going to do it correctly and at the right time. Um, I think there is a need to have domestic both manufacturing and production and domestic brands and I think there's also a place for international brands and that can be across clothing, across children's wear, across many retail um, divisions. I don't think competition is a bad thing and I think with the internet people can shop globally anyway and it's always good to have that presence of range so every consumer has their needs met. Retail operations, we as a company always do lots of um, kind of background research to make sure that culturally we are, we are going in with the, the right message because our brand is a global brand and we want it to sit back in the markets correctly. We work operationally with local teams, so there's lots of reliance on translation and we have a big brand heritage piece that we like to make sure that message gets delivered in market. Um, we're also a very um, ethical supplier. Our products are for babies and need to be made in the best factories. And culturally and politically, political is always a difficult one to answer on the spot. Um, everything is different across each of the countries here, so we have to understand that before we come in and not really understand what the barriers are or what the opportunities are. I, I was desperate to come back to Sao Paulo. I haven't been here since 2013. Um, so to, to network with everybody here, um, so far it's been great. Um, I've met some colleagues from the UK, um, from Brazil, and I know a few of the other speakers that are arriving today and tomorrow. So I can't wait to catch up with them all. Uh, it's nice sunny weather at the moment, which is much better than the UK. Uh, and the hospitality here has been, has been great.